Today, I am bringing you along on my first photography shoot. By now, you have seen the pictures, but this was the actual footage on the day that we did it. If you are overdue for getting your photos updated or you just need to create some content, some video, a podcast, or even have a meeting, there are reasons to create content. Speaking of that, today I'm in a different location than what you're gonna see in the video. I'm at Meraki Studios ATL in Norcross, Georgia. Yes, Gwinnett County now has their own chic and stylish and upscale content space that they don't have to drive all the way to Atlanta for. While we love Atlanta, we don't always like driving there, okay? So I love this location. It's closer for the metro areas to get, but still very accessible to Atlanta. So it's a win-win. Plus, it is so comfortable. Like I feel like I'm at home. Today I'm here to record some videos for my real estate and personal channels, but I was previously here um, and did a photo shoot, which I love the pictures they came out so dope. And I'm gonna include the ones I did here in this background. I also came back and did a video with a lender. So I'll link that here. If we're not connected on my real estate channel, please go ahead and check it out. For the video you're gonna see today, I hope it gives you some insight into planning and structuring and how the day might go. You'll see myself as well as my best friend, Tamika Green with Greg Lewis Interiors in there. Be sure to go check her out for all your interior decorating and home staging needs and check out her course that she has. We did the day together. We booked the space, the photographer, the makeup artist, and it really worked well so that while I was changing, she was getting photographed and vice versa. You could do it by yourself. Just depends on how many looks. That's another thing. How many sets does the place have? How many looks do you wanna do? So those are all things that you need to find out in advance. If you have more questions on that, be sure to let me know. I could do another video, but just giving you some behind the scenes footage of how that day went. It was super fun. It was also tiring. And then it didn't help then that we had to drive all the way back to Atlanta after it. But future shoots will be done here at Meraki Studios ATL. So again, check them out. Any questions, drop them down below. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out here, but be sure to keep watching. Have a positive, peaceful and productive day. All right, let me show you what it looks like. We're in the A. Oh, so I was giving my time, um, give my tip. Book more time than you think you will need because we had it from 12 to five and we're literally hurrying to get, um, get everything done and get out of here. So. Again, check the blog post because I'm gonna have more tips on there. Okay, we are inside. A loft with different veneers. So this is the kitchen scene. Just for the type of pictures and stuff that are taken here, I wish they would have like a more pop kitchen, like a more, you know, luxury looking kind of kitchen would be great. This is the bathroom. I think I'm gonna set up some stuff. Look at my shirt. Model, gold digger, no. Entrepreneur, yes. Okay. So this is one scene here, or set here. Here's another. All right. Going into the next room. a lot in these spaces where I'm like, yeah, I'm not using this, but we'll maybe figure something out. And then come into this room and we have our fabulous photographer, Miss Keisha. Mm -hmm. Keisha is actually who um, styled my wedding, um, my, my wedding makeup. And Keisha's cousin is Tweena who did my hair. So we keep it all in the family up in here. But see, she's a, the professional. This is what she does. This is what she does. She has a mobile rolling studio. Boom. I'm impressed. I like that way you see that sound. Are you oily? You look oh. like you're more combination. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Hi, Tamika. No. Do hi for the camera. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you are not finished. 
shoulder for the time. <laughs> okay. All right, makeup is done. Photographer and her mom are there. Look one is done. I don't even look like myself, but pictures are nice. Oh no, I didn't get any looks like this. Let me go back out there. This look is done. I had a hat to go along with it. I'm about to change into my next one. This is my least favorite. You know. We thought that we were gonna be like one look, then you do one look, then I do one look. I've done three looks. This is about to be my fourth look. And she's still getting ready, so I guess, you know, it worked out and it paid to be, um, to have my looks ready to go so I wasn't scrambling. All right, so I'm gonna change into this next look. Four looks finished. <laughs> it's crazy, my least favorite looks ended up being the looks that I like the most, I guess because it was most casual and that's most like me. But when I did the fancier looks, it's just not me in my everyday, so. Listen, they didn't finish the bottom without me. Oh, okay. Yeah, this room is gonna be for my red, black, and white looks. So yes, guys, we're getting it done. Have a hack here to get that fit you want. See, see that? Get you some binder clips. Yeah. It is 4:34. Tamika thought we would have all the time in the world, but time goes by quickly. I have one more look to do, but it's outside, so I'm really not rushed about it. Keisha, how would you say today went? Today went fabulous. Hey. Smooth. Yes, thank God for Keisha, boy. <laughs> Thank God for Keisha and Talina. All right, guys, it is 4.52. Shout out to GoPro Hero 10. Cause I flipped my camera and I can actually see myself recording. Thank you, cause GoPro 8 did not do that. Uh, Mika is doing her last look, packing up the car so we can get out of here. Have not eaten all day despite the snacks it's gonna be another one of my tips it's gonna be it is 8 38 after we finished at like we left at like 5 10 we have the space till 5. we went to a restaurant next door to it to urban licks ate there here's some pictures and now i'm back home remember this mess that i left we have not been looking forward to that plus unpacking my suitcase folding up my clothes deciding all that's going to be returned that I did not use. I don't know what I'm getting to tonight, but I'm looking forward to getting in the bed and this makeup off and going to sleep early since I did not go early, go to sleep early yesterday. So by the time I post this video, I will have the pictures back and I will include some pictures at the end. So stay tuned for that and be sure to check out the blog post because that's going to have my tips in there if you're preparing for a show to photo shoot and what I would have done differently, done better, included, those kind of things. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Let me know if you like this type of video. It was a fun video. These little press on nails. The cheapest press on nails. You see the bend in that one and the bend in this one, like I was not doing manual labor like that and i just want to tell you what kind of brand it is so you could not i mean it's good for a day but i've had personal nails that lasted for a week or two this brand right here la flair next 20 premium 3d nails like the glue was all 
gummy and almost dried up. I'm so glad that I had bought extra glue. Don't recommend those. This they have bling on some of the nails. There, there's one out of the five stones still left there. And then these two are bent up trash nails. All right, I'm definitely signing out here. Have a positive, peaceful, and protected day. Stay tuned for the pictures. Peace.